We are fully committed to delivering on our mission, which is building a world of difference through innovation and sustainable infrastructure. Black & Veatch is an engineering firm that specializes in infrastructure projects, everything from energy to water projects. Beyond just doing renewable energy and clean fuels as a energy source, but it's also looking at the water projects, broadband projects, smart cities, infrastructure, environmental projects. So we are looking very holistically to understand how we can drive sustainability in our projects and make sure that we're delivering on our mission, which is essentially our purpose. And the reason our position in these markets, I think, is so strong is because Black & Veatch designs and builds the very technologies that other companies opine about. And I think that allows us to do is really help our clients drive to insights that require a lot of sharp fact bases to make very consequential business decisions. To drive ESG action amongst our clients, I'm essentially making sure that Black & Veatch is walking the talk and being a leader for our clients as part of their supply chains, helping them to make positive changes, not just in their operations, but up and down their supply chains as well. So ultimately, I think the challenges we're seeing come down to momentum and alignment. Changing the course of that momentum is going to require significant efforts and really intense alignment up and down the chain so that we can actually see changes and establish those metrics. We're really looking at the future of zero emission being a mixed use of technology. Even more important, Black & Veatch has been involved in the renewable energy for the last 30, 40 years. We see this convergence of technology and they're all complementary, we think, and that's where we see a lot of the future. So in the next 12 months, I am running with our teams of experts to figure out how we can seamlessly develop solution offerings to help our clients navigate what happens in that nexus. We deal with critical human infrastructure and how we account for that is a big challenge. Again, there's broader alignment. How we present ourselves as an ESG company, everything that we do is actually benefiting and it's critical human infrastructure. So in some form or the other is helping planet, helping the people in some way. And I think that's a broader challenge that we probably will be potentially looking at addressing from an outward facing of what we are doing. All other principles contribute to responsibility. When organizations accept full responsibility for their impacts, I think we're gonna be nearing a hopeful new normal. And while this doesn't necessarily end the world's problems, it will help us buy time to innovate and prepare for a future with fewer virgin resources.